Ito Simon Karanja Thu, hapa ni Mbakasi Tasia. Jana kulikuwa na demonstration za nyazirikuwa zinaendelea. Na ziriaza masaya subuhi. So kutoka subuhi to, to recruit business, kutoka saa tatu ya subuhi, mpaka jioni. But around 6.30 to saa moja hapo, eh, the demonstrations ikakuwa kari sana. At the moment kiendelea, eh, wali manage kufunja na wakaigia dani ya duka. Wali vujia murango na wakaigia dani ya duka. The moment walivuja murango, waliingia, wakaza kurut items, walirut vitu mingi sana, wakachukua cash drawers, wakachukua TVs, wakachukua fridges na high variable items. Okay, for the moment, eh, to estimate around 15 million. Maria 15 million imeza kupotea. Okay, by the time, by the time walikuwa wanaingia, eh, kulikuwa na hitrafu ya stima kidogo because watu walikuwa wanarusha mawe all over, I think kukakuwa na hitrafu ya stima kidogo. So, some, some part ilikuwa inarekodiwa, some part ilikuwa inarekodiwa. So number one, eh, ningependa kuomba serikali hivi eh, watu saidie, sisi kama business community. Because number one, sisi eh, tu, okay, tunadisha watu wengi hapa sana. Kama jana tulimbiwa maria pesa mingi sana. Like today, hatujafungua kazi. So yu bado ni rose tunaenderea. Na wada watu bado tumeyajiri, bado hawa, leo hawa tapata mshara. Because tuwefunga tuwederei na kazi. So number one, ningeomba serikali, eh, tusaidie sana kwa mambo ya security na hii mambo ya protest, protest hiishe. Iki tusi mzuri hata kidogo. Haifrahiji, because sometimes kuna watu wanaumia, watu wengine wapoteza maisha, vitu mingi zinaibiwa. Ok, naeza penda kwa zaishe. Kuna electronics, vitu kama TVs, fridges na radios, ufas. Haya, tukienda kwa matres, eh, tumepoteza matres pia, walichukua nguo. Tukienda kwa vyakura, walichukua maunga, wakachukua mamikate, maburubad, vitu kama hizo. Yes. Uh, ok, kuna hile PC yu inakuanga pale chini customer care, enye huwa inabeba information ya mwini mweusi. Huyo pia iliibiwa. Ok, pesa cash wa, wali access, eh? ni, wali chukua za nyezirikuwa kwa drawers Because kuna zile drawers wali chukua, hata computers kuna zile wali chukua Na hata kuna zile PC wali nye wali chukua na wakaenda nazo Yes, yes, tuko na CCTV evidence that hata kuna wengine wenye wali shiko hapa So bado pa, iyo ni part of evidence Ok, hatu japata staff yote mwenye mehusika Awa wate walikuwa watu wa inje, hakuna staff yote mwenye tulipata kama mehusika Yes, polisi wali cherewa kidogo, but at least eh, wali manage kukuja na waka, waka tusaidia kwa hile situation tulikuwa because tulikuwa kwa situation baya sana. Yes, kuna wetu wabili wenye wali umizwa. Because at the moment, eh, walikuwa mawe ilikuwa inarushwa, all over. So kuna moja, aliko, uh, wa, okay, wabili wetu wali umia mgu. Wali umia mgu. Majina na hitwa Bernard Utieno Nyango. Mini mfanyi wakazi wa hapa. Branch manager. Jana ndo lefungua duka vizuri 6.30. Tuka uza uza, arandi around saa tatu na nusu. So vile awa maandamano ilikuwa kali sana. Ilibidi tufunge mlango, tulikuwa ndani. Lafu walianza kurusha rusa mawe, so tulikuwa tu ndani, hadi around sa kumina mbili. Kivyo sa kumina mbili jioni, tuka release staffs, waende nyumbani, saa tulifunga kabisa. Tukisha vika kwa nyumba, ndio wakarudi, wakaanza na wakavunja hapo kwa gas, wakatua gas zote. After kutukotua gas zote, wakaanza kuvunja mlango ya duka sasa. Wakavunja mlangu wakapiga na mawe, hadi wote wakaingia ndani mlangu wakisa fungua. Wakisa ingia ndani wakabeba vitu, wakanza na tails, hizo screens ya kutakuanga hapo chini, wakabeba zote, na drawers na kueka pesa. Wakachukua pesa zilikuwa hapo, na vitu kadha walichukua hapo. Wakachukua wa matres, na matiwi na ufa, zilikuwa. Badai after mpulisi ukuja, Sasa kuna wenyadi wale shikwa. Tule manage kushika like watu wa sita hivi. Mina amba tu serikali. Kama wanezongea waonge. Ima andamano. Ishe. Jugu wakisema kila mandi. So majua next mandi pia ikifika. Maybe itakuwa hivi hata kuingini hata kama si hapa. So tunawamba tu waonge. Mandamano na ishe. Juhi ni kuharibu biashara. Kama saa hii sasa atufanyi kazi. Atijui kwa vile tutamanini. Tuta survive sasa. So majo mandawani ilikuwa kali sana na mapolisi walikuwa hapo kubarabara. So hata mapolisi walijaribu sana lakini waraye walikuwa wengi. So tulijifunga tundani, hadi six, ndio tukaenda. Mimi kama raia wa Kenya, nasema ya kuamba maisha imetufinya, ndio sababu naona vitu kama hizo sinatendeka. 
kama ingekuwa gharama ya maisha kila mtu angekuwa anaendelea na shughuli zake lakini kulingana na gharama ya maisha inabidi raia mpaka anaweza ajaribu chochote ili apate kitu cha kukula kwa sababu unga iwezi kuwa imefika shilingi mbili na kasi yenyewe hatuna serikali ilituahidi sisi vijana itatupa siri, kasi na kasi zinaenda kwa wakubwa ambayo wenye watu wenye wamefanya kwa serikali kasi ndio wanapewa kasi hata sisi vijana mahaso na tiedanganywa kwa wakati wa kampeni ati tutaangaziwa hakuna hata hasola moja amepewa kasi na, na rais uhuru ruto so kwa hivyo maisha kama haya mali imetufikisha sisi hatuna budi tutaungana tuna baba kuandamana kila mande kwa upande wa damage sisi hatuungi mkono kitu ya ambayo tunaunga mkono ni kuandamana kwa, kwa njia ya amani na, na polisi pia waache ku, kusumbua raia kuandamana ni haki ya raia hata ukienda kwa katiba iko ni kitu kinaruhusiwa kama angekuwa angekuwa analeta fujo sisi tungeandamana kwa amani fujo kama ingetokea mimi naitwa Amina Salim mimi ni mkaji wa Tasia na mimi nilikuwa natoka kazi saa moja Magic Juice Company alafu nilipo wewe nilipokuwa ninatoka kazi ikakuwa nilitoka saa moja ikakuwa barabara ni mbaya hata kama maandamano inafaikuwa ya amani kama ni haki ya unga tupigane haki ya unga ishuke kwa sababu maisha kila mtu sahi maisha imekuwa ngumu lakini sasa inafika mahali watu wengine kuko na maandamano wanachukulia advantage ile kitu ndogo umepata mtu anakuchukulia kwa hivyo ninaweza sema maandamano isiendelee isimame kama ni wao wakubwa wakai chini wa solve mambo yao kuliko sababu kama hii maandamano inaendelea sio wao wanaumia ni sisi raia wakawa chini tunaumia sababu sisi wenyewe ndio tunaumizana sababu kama jirani yangu sai alipigwa jana na mawe akapasuliwa kichwa akachukuliwa simu na laptop na 20k hiyo na manisha raila sindi anaumia sawa ni mimi na wewe tunaumia raila ya ataongea na na watu ukikuwa mjinga unamfata lakini yeye anajua yeye atapigwa na mtu na mawe jirani yako ndiye atapigwa na mawe kwa hivyo mimi naweza sema maendeleo isi, isikue hata hiyo mande tu mande yenye anasema isikue na mimi sioni mi polisi mi naona walinisaidia jana hata vile watu wengine wanasema polisi wako wakusaidia mi jana mimi nimeokolewa na polisi na JCU sababu hata ningepigwa na mawe na ningenyang'anywa simu Unashiga hata ningedungwa hata kisu hapa kwa flyover. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza sema si support maandamano. Kama ni gava iko na shida kigava, yonge kigava. Naishukishie tu mwananchi unga unga na maisha yake chini. Hiyo ingine wa solve juu. Ayusiki na mwananchi wa kawaida. Ama uh, I will wish to confirm that uh, yesterday at around 8 in the evening we managed to arrest about about 15 15 suspects who had been masquerading as rioters but instead we found them attempting to break into a supermarket in Tasia Mwindimusi supermarket uh, we caught them in the act they had already broken into the door but uh, a good number managed to escape but the 14 the 15 are in our custody uh, pending to be arraigned in court to face robbery with violence charges uh, i wish to take this opportunity to warn all law abiding kenyans to desist from those instances of lawlessness uh, people's life and property is sacred and that is why we as the police do exist and uh, it should be a warning that breaking into any building any infrastructure is a crime known as felony that attracts a life imprisonment therefore 
it means if it attracts life in imprisonment is something very serious and uh, i wish to sound a warning that maybe next time they won't be uh, they, they they won't be lucky let us let us desist and uh, let us desist and keep off from people's property if you feel like demonstrating do it, do it peacefully live about people's lives and people's property yeah we 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 are yet we are yet to ascertain exactly uh, items and value of items they managed to run away with but generally it was in the nick of time we caught them before they did a lot of damage